Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a great little utility called Bottles, which allows you to install and run applications originally developed for Windows on Linux. So Bottles is a GUI front-end for Wine, and Wine is a compatibility layer capable of running Windows applications on several operating systems, including Linux, macOS, and BSD. Now, Wine itself, it works by translating Windows API calls onto the fly, and this eliminates the performance and memory penalties of using other methods such as virtual machines or emulators. In other words, it emulates the environment that an application needs to be running instead of virtualizing the entire operating system. Now, normally using Wine would require you to use the command line, but there are projects out there such as Proton and Lutris, which are completely GUI based, and in fact, they're actually two of the best tools for playing Windows developed games on Linux today. So where does Bottles fit in? Well, technically you can use it to play games on Linux, but I would not recommend it as both Proton and Lucius do a far superior job. Instead, I would have a look at using Bottles to install and launch standalone Windows developed applications that don't have a native client. So to install Bottles, I would recommend going the Flatpak method, as this does appear to be the main release channel for the software, and it also contains the most up-to-date version. Plus, since Flatpak itself is distribution agnostic, all you need to do is follow the instructions on setting up Flatpak for your Linux distribution and then installing Bottles from Flatup. So the first time you run Bottles, it will download some dependencies. So let it run through the process and once it's finished, you will be greeted by the default interface. So to create a new bottle or wine instance, click on the Create a New Bottle button. From here, you want to give it a suitable name. In my case, I'm going to be installing Notepad++, so let's call it that. And you have an option of choosing either gaming, application, or custom. I'm going to go with application, then click the create button. So what bottles will now do is start to create the wine prefix. And once this process is finished, you'll see the bottle created screen. And at this stage, just click the close button. Next, you want to click on the entry. In my particular case, it's notepad++. And where it says run executable, click on this button and then browse to the installation package for the piece of software. From here, the installation process is pretty straightforward, just install as you normally would do. And then once the installation is finished, click on the back button over here, and then once again, click on the entry. Now you see there's an option here under programs, which will show the install program. So I click on the play button to launch the application. And there you go. So you're now running a Windows developed application on Linux using bottles. Of course, the success of running Windows developed applications on Linux will be tied directly to the development and maturity of the Wine project. And certain application suites, particularly a subscription based model software such as the Adobe Suite, are never likely to be supported in Wine. But for everything else, it's fair game. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, check out the rest of the content on the channel if you haven't already, and hit that subscribe button today. See you again soon. Bye.